Hello Shisha. Welcome to 2015 question paper discussion. As we go on, today we are going to look at a story. A story of statue and stepping stone. Try to imagine we have two objects here, both of them trying to interact. Okay, so here the first interaction by object stepping stone. It said, why are you being respected a lot of people? Both of us have same origin, aren't we? But why people are worshipping you, they are creating you, you are getting a lot of prize. Why is it so? Statue started responding. When sculptor came to test me and he, has, he had beaten me many times, I remind, I remind like a complete stone. I never tore apart into two pieces. So, Everyone is respecting me, I am being worshipped. And it said, when the sculptor came and tested you, tested you before me, I saw you breaking into two pieces. Hence, you became a stepping stone. And stepping stone is wordless. And it became so silent. And it felt so sad why it became too, when the sculptor came to test it, that particular stone. You know, the life is so simple. Uh, a lot of people come come to you, they, te they tell you this is wrong, that is, that is right. It all happens. You know, you have to consider them, corrections you have to make. You know, it, you know we cannot imagine uh, like our Hindu idols, like plain stone, and if everyone comes and just worships, it won't look so good. But, you know, when it is a proper shape, you know, we can name them. And then it becomes, you know, very, very evident. So in the same way, you know, you have a lot of hurdles in life, which makes you, which shapes you into a beautiful person. And expect those ones. Always remember, if you are going in a, you know, in a way where you do not have any challenges, you do not have any problems, you are not at all living. It's just surviving. Remember this and have a life where you have challenges where there is more scope of improvement all right and never ever give up at any case say you know when people say you can't do this and take it as a challenge and prove it then you are real hero not than someone who is taking billions of money all right i wish you all the best maybe it took a bit longer i'll try to make it so short in further other times all right let's move on to the first question here uh, Excess salt inhibits bacterial growth in pickles. Why? So pickles are particular uh, food products which are being preserved with excess of oil as well as salt. So here, due to presence of this uh, excess salt, the exosmosis will take place. You know, uh, always the moisture which is present, it will be given out. Uh, by the uh, you know by the composition of salt as well as the oil hence it will be preserved for longer time and 47th one restriction endonucleases and en or enzymes that are used by biotechnologists too so restriction endonucleases always remember it just cuts okay it is considered as the molecular uh, scissor all right Next slide, 48 one. Enzyme X extracted from digestive or digestive system hydrolyzes peptide bonds. So remember, peptide is a part of protein. Which of following are probable candidates to be enzyme X? You know, as it is protein proteinaceous in nature, you can always expect the protein component. So amylase is a carbohydrate and lipases. You know. It's which breaks down the fats and maltase again carbohydrates. So finally we got trypsin. So he's the uh, answer for us. 49th when a person with blood group A, B has. So again the table is going to be helpful for you if you can. And even without table also you can solve it quite easily. But um, I want to show you more clearly. So here we have two components. One is RBC. Uh, and then plasma. So RBC will have antigen and plasma will have antibodies. These two components defines uh, the proper blood group. So here 
A and uh, B. So A and B are uh, two two different things here. So when you say A blood group, um, I think this this one is the same one which I showed you last question paper. Sorry, I think I have to uh, change it. So meanwhile, I'll just uh, show you. So these are the two parts in RBC. Uh, RBC we have uh, the antigens and, and uh, antibodies in, in plasma so that is uh, that is so simple so here you can see the answer antigen A B on RBC neither anti A anti B antibodies uh, I think you got the answer you know when you say uh, just assume this is now BC so which have the antigen A and uh, B okay antigen A and uh, let's say the double line is B here like this it will be continuously present on the blood group person A B like me even I'm also example for that uh, see uh, anti A anti B are not part of the and the part of this you know they would not find presence of anti A anti B here so that's why they can be able to receive blood from anyone so that is the truth that's why the, the, those people can be called as universal uh, acceptors right next question 29th one glycolysis is breakdown of glucose to pyruvic acid how many molecules pyruvic acid are uh, formed from one molecule of glucose the answer is 2 Good. Next, the process of transfer of electrons from glucose to molecular oxygen in bacteria and mitochondria is known as. So again, similar question from respiration, you, you can call it as the oxidative phosphorylation. Okay, you can call it as oxidative phosphorylation. Let's move on to the next question. Which one of the following cell types is a part of innate immunity? So innate immunity, which is a longer one, which remains in uh, which remains in the body and uh, from your birth, okay, which is which is not developed uh, later on stages of your birth. So skin epithelial cells are considered as a part of innate immunity, and even the skin is considered as first layer of uh, defense first layer of immune defense next 53rd one deficiency of which one of the following vitamins can impede blood clotting vitamin K has a uh, such important role uh, I can you knew that the metabolic activity that happens fibrin to fibrinogen formation all of that is part of uh, vitamin K uh, role is also there in that biochemical sequence of reactions 54th one which one of the following is determinant to soil fertility? What do you see? Uh, you can say that Pseudomonas. Okay, so when when you see Pseudomonas, why why it should be determinant? If there is no Pseudomonas, then you can say that the soil is quite healthy because it is anaerobic one. All right, whereas all other ones are positive traces. When you say nitrosomes and nitros nitrobacter, this help the soil to give you more fertility. Hence, 54th pseudomonas is the right answer. Next, 55th one, in which one of the following phyla is the body segmented? So simple, it's annelids. Next, 56th one, vital test prescribed to diagnose. It's one of the ancient question I can say all exams you can come across this typhoid next which among grass goat tiger and vulture in a food chain will have the maximum concentration of harmful chemicals in its body due to contamination of pesticides in the soil so we can call this phenomenon as biological bio magnification as well so that I'm indirectly illustrating you with a uh, Magnification, let me write. So here they're trying to indirectly illustrate you uh, a food chain here. So we try to assume assume uh, the similar similar organisms, 
and you can find that vulture is the one which can consume even all the lower organisms like till at least the herbivores hence uh, vulture will have more amount of uh, traces all right so 57th one d is answer so it is easily confusable you can go with tiger forget about vulture okay so let's move on to next one so considering average biomolecular mass of a base to be 500 daltons what is a molecular mass of a double stranded dna of 10 base pairs you know here when you say uh, 10 base pairs even you can write that in other way like 20 bases isn't it base pairs and bases we have 20 bases and uh, the, the molecular mass of uh, that a molecular mass of the single base is 500 daltons and when you calculate the same one for 20 bases and you'll get the value of 10,000 daltons so this 10,000 driven to 10k daltons that's why we can get the answer of uh, 10k daltons right next 59th one which of the following pairs are both polysaccharides so here you can say cellulose and glycogen whereas the all other ones are uh, not exactly the polysaccharide polysaccharides next 68th one which of the following is modified leaf okay as soon as you look at onion you may get some clue for that and whereas uh, the other ones are modified roots good we have finished part a now we're going to part b Genomic DNA digested with ALU1 restriction enzyme, which is four base pair cutter. What is the frequency with which it will cut the DNA, assuming a random distribution of bases in the genome? You know, the creators actually they say one by two fifty six is the actual proportion it will cut. I don't have any more logical information for that. I think you could. You should supposed to study a lot about that particular ALU one. So here's seventy seventh one general question about uh, the pressure differences. If rice is cooked in a pressure cooker, cooker on the Siachen glacier at sea beach on and on Deccan plain, which of the following is correct about time taken for cooking rice? Good. So I think probably a South Asian went somewhere. He tries to cook the rice and he wants to know where he can cook rice quite faster all right so here uh, you can see the pressure cooker you know when you just say pressure cooker it doesn't influence the time okay that is the reason why you can see it can be able to take place uh, same time the pressure cooker has control conditions inside despite of the sea level whereas if it is open bowl then we can think in different way all right so the answer is D. Let's move on to next question. 78 one. A few rabbits are introduced uh, in in uninhabited inhabited island with plenty of food. If the if these rabbits are in the absence of any disease, natural calamity and predation, which one of the following graphs which one of the following graphs best represents their population growth? okay so 78 one is C so when you when you try to look at this uh, I think we already seen you know the population the the birth and uh, the rapid growth space and then gradually what happens is uh, gradually what happens is at a stage the stationary growth of organisms will take place and later you can see the mature organisms are going to die Hence the population comes down. Again it's going to rise up to some level. And again the matured organisms are going to come down. So these are continuous process where you can see wave-like structures are going to be formed. Alright. So the answer for this is uh, C. Next question is what is the advantage of storing glucose as glycogen in animals instead of monomeric glucose? You know it's it's a kind of logical, you know, the bio the bio uh, product you know the biochemical product which is being stored it should be preserved instead of uh, uh, you know like the general breakdown okay uh, so when it is like unavailable for all these cells 
uh, in a different form so that the region where the cells require they can be taken and can be consumed or broken down so that is the main logic you know we have to, you have to choose uh, the proper answer here so 79th one is a C where you can say uh, glucose present and here they try to even come up come across with uh, the necessity of 12 so when there is a uh, and the glucose is present and due to lots of osmotic osmotic pressure the excess water is required and even the cells the cells will swell up right so uh, recommended or uh, you know the cells prefer being taking the glycogen inside the cells when it is not actually involving in any kind of metabolic process good let's move on to next question last one so line is drawn a line is drawn from the exterior of an animal cell to the center of the nucleus crossing through uh, one mitochondrion what is the minimum number of membrane bilayers already are drawn here so red one resembles the nucleus and then the mitochondria and then the plasma membrane I think uh, it is quite misused even uh, the 8 is also possible here uh, no, I thought I don't think eight is possible at all. Uh, if there is an endosplas endoplasmic reticulum mentioned here, so six will be the right answer. Here. So first, nucleus two layers and uh, mitochondria, right, two layers, and then uh, plasma membrane two layers. So total six. So this is the end of 2015 question paper for you. I meet you soon with some more paper discussions. So take care.